uh, with uh, advancing a wire into a vein um, or advancing the vein selector over a wire, the addition uh, or adding a microcatheter can be useful to overcome difficult coronary sinus anatomy. So here's an example where we have a, an extremely tortuous vein um, and we engaged the vein with a standard uh, vein selector um, and we tried to advance a wire um, and despite direction and support from the catheter the light, light support polymer tip wire would not advance, that is the choice PT would not advance at all. So what we did then, uh, we wanted to make sure we were really in the vein, so a puff, puff of contrast was given to confirm that the wire is in the vein. We then decided to add a microcatheter, uh, and this, which is very difficult to see, but this is a microcatheter which has um, three markers on it. It's 90 centimeters long, and it fits over a 0.014 inch wire, and importantly, it fits inside the lumen uh, of the vein selector. When you're using a 90 centimeter microcatheter through the 75 centimeter vein selector, you need to remove the hemostatic Y adapter to have enough length of microcatheter extending beyond the tip of the vein selector. So we advanced the uh, microcatheter over the wire um, and we got it into the vein over the wire. And once we got to this point, then we decided to uh, switch. We took out the existing wire, um, uh, took out the bent floppy wire, and put in a fresh wire. And because the fresh wire didn't encounter any tortuosity until it reached the end of the vein selector, uh, it wasn't bent by the time it reached a, distal part, a more distal part of the vein and was able to be advanced. But still you'll notice that we have this loop in the vein, so we haven't straightened that out yet. So what now? Well, what we'll do is we'll take out the floppy wire, and this time we'll exchange the floppy for a choice PT extra support. And you can see the wire going in. And as it goes in, you'll note right here uh, that it straightened out the vein. So now the vein's straight. We have an Amplat support wire in place. Uh, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll advance uh, the vein selector over the combination of the microcatheter, which is hydrophilic, and the extra support wire. And so we're able to advance that deep into the vein, and then once we had the uh, vein selector deep in the vein, we were able to rail the renal LVI subselector over the vein selector, um, and then uh, we're able to uh, deliver the lead. So that's how a microcatheter uh, can be used to facilitate LV lead placement. And uh, since we started doing this through the vein selector, I tend to use it more and more and find it quite helpful.